Welcome to LearnComputerScienceOnline.com, and in this video, we are going to discuss, what is a Relational Database Management System, also alternately referred to as, RDBMS, in the database world. In simple terms, the Relational Database Management System, is a software application, used to create, manage, and administer, the relational databases. The RDBMS, is a type of, database management system specially designed for creating and managing the relational databases so the next question you may be thinking what is a relational database and the most simple answer to this question is the databases which are based on the relational model are defined as relational databases in order to understand the design of relational database we need to first study the relational model which we are going to discuss in detail in this video tutorial. Some of the most commonly used relational database management systems include MySQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, and of course, there are many popular RDBMS software available in the database market. Before we start discussion on the relational database management system, let us first understand the meaning of terms data and the database. Let us now find out what is data? The data is the most important element of any database management system. And therefore, it is important to understand the meaning of term data in the context of database. The database are created to collect the information about some real world entities. For example, customer database, students database, and the employee database. The term data in the context of DBMS indicates any facts, figures, observations, images, or any such similar things, that can be recorded, and then, digitally processed. The data must be recordable, so that, the raw data can be processed, with the help of a, computer system, and the, data processing software. Let us consider one example, the companies generally maintain, employee database, to collect the data, about their employees. The data, pertaining to an employee, might include name, department, designation, contact email, salary, and other such information. Let us now discuss the meaning of term database. The database in simple terms is the organized collection of interrelated data that can be efficiently stored, accessed, and processed. The database offers many advantages as compared to any other form of record-keeping system. The database is the most efficient way of storing and organizing the data. The database is an important element of most software applications that are designed to store, access, and process the data with the help of any DBMS software application. The relational databases are databases that are based on the relational model proposed and developed by computer scientist E.F. Codd. He was an English computer scientist who proposed and developed the relational database model. Let us now discuss what is a relational database management system. The term RDBMS stands for relational database management system, which is a software designed to perform various operations on the relational databases. The database operations that can be performed by using RDBMS includes creating new databases, organizing the data in various tables, defining relations between the tables, administering, managing, and manipulating the databases. The database manipulation operations includes creating new database and tables, modifying the table structure, adding and deleting the data in a table, and other such user-specified database operations. The RDBMS internally might consist of group of programs. Each of these program performs a different task related to the database management. Some of the most commonly used RDBMS includes MySQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, IBM DB2, Microsoft Access, MariaDB, MangoDB, PostgreSQL, and there are many more DBMS available in the market. The MySQL RDBMS is extensively used for providing server-based databases functionality to the websites 
and web applications. The RDBMS also provides the necessary tools required for the design and the development of relational databases. The relational database management system is a default choice and vital component of most of the software applications. Let us now take a quick look at the internal logical structure of the relational databases. In a relational database model, the database is logically organized as group of interrelated tables. Each database entity is represented by a table in the database. Each table can have multiple rows and columns. A table is a collection of records and represents a database entity. Each row in the table represents a record. A table row, which is also alternately referred to as a tuple or a row. The intersection of row and column is referred as data field. Each data field can be uniquely identified with reference to the respective row and column. Each row in the table consists of number of data fields. The columns in a table represent some attribute for an entity. Each table column is identified with unique name. Whereas each row in the table is uniquely identified with the help of a database key called the primary key. In relational databases, the relationships between the tables are defined by using a primary key and the foreign key. Let us now understand the importance of database design skills for programmers and the software developers. Whether you are working on an enterprise software development project or you may be developing a small website, the database design and development skills are needed in almost all software applications. And therefore, the database design and development knowledge is important for programmers and the software developers. The software professionals with database design skills are the highest paid professionals in the job market. Let us now briefly discuss the database communication language SQL. The database management system internally makes use of database query language, such as SQL. The SQL stands for Structured Query Language. The SQL is standard database query language, supported by almost all RDBMS, based on the relational model. It is a database query language SQL, used by the software applications, to communicate with the database management system. The RDBMS in turn, communicates with the database and performs the desired database operation. The database is managed by the RDBMS, whereas, the database, actually stores the data. That brings us to the end of this tutorial, and in this tutorial, we have discussed, what is a database management system. If you have liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up, and, consider subscribing to this channel. Please visit our website, learncomputerscienceonline.com, to learn computer science, online. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon with, another computer science video tutorial.